Hello everybody, Tim Teacher here with another idiom of the day. It's a lovely day here where I am. A little cool, but not too bad. So I'm outside in my t-shirt. It was raining, it has been raining today, but right now uh, it has stopped for a little bit. I hope it's nice where you are. I hope you're having a good week. The idiom for today is the salt of the earth, or to be the salt of the earth. This idiom comes from much like the last one, the Christian Bible from the Gospel of Matthew. There it has a much deeper meaning, uh, but the same idea is here. There's two ideas, really. Uh, in the Bible, Jesus tells uh, his disciples, who are fishermen and sort of uh, regular people, we could say, common people, he tells them that they are the salt of the earth. So that idea of being uh, common or s sort of a normal uh, kind of person. That is important. Also, the idea of salt itself, right? Salt, um, much more than now a lot of times, is, was a very important ingredient, a very important spice. And even now, if you use it correctly, it can add so much flavor or increase the flavors of your food. So the idea of salt is also very important. So we're really putting those two ideas together um, to get the meaning. Uh, the meaning is basically a very dependable and unpretentious person, right? This is the part that really often comes down to being a common uh, person, right? The unpretentious idea, right? The very important part would be the dependable part. So those are the two ideas in this idiom. Part of Mueller's success is his connection to the common man. Growing up in a poor farming family, he acquired many of the qualities later voters would look for in a leader. For these voters, he was the salt of the earth. Give the idiom a try today. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.